Well, the icy roads are proving to be a treacherous start to the holiday travel rush. It's also a slow start for air travel, a powerful storm causing problems in the Northeast. At the height of the storm, there were more than 5,000 flight delays in the U.S. Now we just checked and that's now down to about 220. And 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is live at Detroit Metro Airport for us this morning. Peter, what are you seeing as far as cancellation and delays right now? So there are no cancellations here at Detroit Metro Airport, but there are seven delays here at Detroit Metro Airport. And you definitely want to check with your airline before you head out the door to see if your flight is delayed or canceled. But taking a look at the departure board right here for Delta Airlines and the McNamara Terminal, it's looking like pretty much smooth sailing from here. The holiday travel season is here and in full swing with folks heading home for the holidays. I'm going to Mexico to visit family. You are? Yeah. Is this a tradition that you have? I uh, used to be, but then tickets got way too expensive. But luckily, we found some cheap ones. But with traveling comes turbulence with storm systems on the east and west coasts that could be delaying or canceling flights. Once it come before it got a little too cold and... Yesterday kind of scared me. I'm like, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> According to the FAA, holiday travel for the Christmas week will peak on Thursday with close to 49,000 forecasted flights. Detroit Metro Airport will also be buzzing with travelers, with an estimated 1.5 million passengers flying through Detroit Metro Airport from now through January 1st a 10% increase in the number of passengers they saw from last year. And according to AAA, 3.6 million Michiganders plan on traveling 50 miles or more between December 23rd and January 1st. And if you do plan on traveling with gifts and going through security, you definitely don't want to wrap those gifts because TSA will have to unwrap them to see what's under the wrapping paper. And again, check with your airlines for any cancellations or delays. Reporting at Metro Airport, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. That gift wrap reminder, that's going to save people time. So just, yes, do not wrap those gifts <laughs> if you're going through security. Peter, thank you for that live report.